Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. Today's practice is about stress relief from the mind and the body and finding more balance for yourself. I'm a registered acupuncturist and yoga teacher. What I want to share with you is the combination of the, those two modalities so that you may find a little bit more feeling like more yourself and a little bit more at ease. To understand how we use Chinese medicine principles in our everyday life so that we can find a little bit more balance, find a little bit more release of stress, we need to think about the, the ideas of, about Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine believes that when we are out of sorts, out of balance, when we feel discomfort and pain in the body, um, even when we're feeling um, moments of frustration and anger, what is happening according to Chinese medicine is that our chi, our life force, is stuck. A little bit more stagnated is what we call it. And so when our blood, our chi, is stagnated, then we will feel discomfort. We're gonna be off balance. We're not gonna be much of ourselves. And the best way to release some of that stagnation, to have a beautiful flow of chi and blood through the body is one, through movement. Two, is through great nutrition and sleep. Three, just allowing yourself to have the chi and blood flow moving freely. So today I've worn a nice flowy outfit. Anytime we're wearing anything that's constricting the body, squeezing into the body points, we call them meridians and the highways. If we are wearing very tight clothing, then our blood flow, our chi, our life force will not be able to flow as freely. So I want you to get comfortable, put on your cozy clothes, and let's start our practice. Okay. We're gonna have our feet hip width distance apart to start. We're gonna have our knees nice and soft. And to keeping it with that idea of flow and movement and releasing stagnated chi in the body, releasing the stagnated blood in the body that may be dis, you know, causing discomfort in the, with pain, or maybe our mind is not feeling just as ourselves, we're gonna to start to move because we wanna have movement so that the blood is flowing freely. So with your knees nice and soft, I want you to just sway from side to side, okay? And I want you to keep the chest up because we're proud in this moment. So even if we're feeling a little grumpy and we're feeling slouched over, I want you to try your best to open up the chest up to the sun, up to the heavens, and just flow. And as we do this, I want you to start to move the arms and start to breathe, okay? So just gentle movements in the day can really assist in helping you to move out those stagnated bits in the body. And we're gonna connect breath with movement. Now I want you to start to be a little bit more expansive, noticing how I'm widening my feet further apart. And I'm extending my arms a little bit further. So continue to do this at your own pace, at your own level. I want you to meet yourself where you are, and I want you to connect breath with movement. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. How does that feel? Something very simple, connecting breath with movement, widening the stance, expanding the arms. Now I want you to stop, find where you are, and take the arms all the way up, reaching up to the sky, breathing in, high 10 to the heavens up here, inhale, and then exhale, soft, relaxing the arms down. Great, spread your toes out nice and wide, keep the knees nice and soft, breathing in, all the way up, reaching up to the sky, and then exhale, releasing, all the way down. Again, breathing in, all the way up, and then exhaling, breathing out, all the way down. We're gonna do three, so one more, please. Inhaling up, reaching up, beautiful, and exhaling, releasing, all the way down. Can we do that with bending knees now? Bending and then lifting, extending, finding length, breathing in, 
And then as we come down, we're gonna bend the knees, breathe out. Perfect, breathing in, chest up, open up the chest, open up the heart space. Exhale, come on down, feeling rooted and grounded. Good, inhaling, expanding, lengthening, and exhaling, feeling rooted into the earth, grounding from Mother Earth, perfect. With your knees bent, take the arms in front of you, holding a nice big circle like this. Chest up, relax the shoulders, knees are nice and soft, open up for expansive breath here, expansive arms. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep the knees bent and then lift up. Inhale, open up, straightening up the legs and then bending, breathing out. Again, breathing in, expanding the arms out. And exhale, releasing, softening the knees, bending, breathing in, expanding, and breathing out. Perfect. Now I want you to cross the arms in front of you, bending the knees and then straightening the legs up. Imagining you're opening up the chest and taking off that sweater. Now if you like to, I like to visualize if I'm feeling grumpy, I'm removing this veil of grumpiness, this dark cloud that's over me. I'm parting them and I'm separating them away from my body and my mind. Okay, take that again. Bending, crossing the arms, pulling it off, up, away from you, releasing, separating those clouds, that dark cloud that may be hanging over your head, pushing it away from your body. Let's do two more. Inhaling, up, lifting, releasing, parting, separating, removing. Ah, last one, bending. Lift up, expansive breath, expansive arms pushing that dark cloud away from the body and the mind. Perfect. I want you to breathe here. In and out. Well done. Let's go ahead and separate our feet further apart now. Widening the stance, the feet can be parallel to each other or a little bit further away. It's your choice, your practice, what feels best for you. We're going to bend the knees and I want you to try to have the back and fairly straight, okay? And you'll notice I'm just kind of bouncing into this, finding myself feeling grounded into the earth, reminding ourselves that the earth is there to support us, okay? Now, finding that stance, soft knees, I want you to take the arms all the way up and take your hands to the heart. Perfect. I want you to bend into that left knee, straightening that right leg taking the arms to the sides. Good. And then I want you to switch sides and sway to the other side. Bending the right knee, straightening the left, taking the arms to the right. We're gonna sway and continue this. I want you to be focused on keeping the hips back. The weight is in the heels and then you're sticking your butt out slightly, okay? And then we're gonna sway. And I want you to continue to breathe. And out. Okay. We can use that same visualization, parting the waves, making ourselves open and more expansive to new ideas, new energies, positive energies, and we're maybe allowing ourselves to be a little more fluid, a little more expressive, but we're focusing on releasing the tension out of the body, out of the mind, and we're breathing in, and out. Inhaling, keeping the weight into the heels, breathing out. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. Now let's go ahead and take the arms all the way up, straight out of the legs, breathe in, inhale, and then exhale down. Come all the way around, breathing in, and then down around. In and down around. Good, breathing in and down around. Let's go the other way. So we're gonna come all the way up and just like a pendulum, you're gonna sway the other way, breathing. Inhaling, exhaling. Breathing out. Find your nice rhythm. Finding yourself releasing tension out of the body. Breathing out. 
Do two more. You're doing great. Inhale and then exhale. This is our last one. We're going to come all the way up. And I want you to release the arms down. Okay, you may toe heel those feet back inward. Beautiful. Roll out the shoulders. Three, two, and one. Perfect. I'd like you to come down to your mat now, please. I'm going to come down onto all fours, okay? So from here, your fingers are spread out nice and wide. I want you to wiggle wobble those feet, um, feet, wiggle wobble those hips back and forth, spreading the fingers nice and wide, reminding yourself that the shoulders need to be stacked on top of the wrists and the hips right on top of the knees. Go ahead, release the tension out of your hips. You hold a lot of tension here. Keep on breathing. Reminding ourselves that this practice is intentional. We're releasing the tension out of our minds, out of our bodies. And when we kind of get through that grumpiness of the body parts here, then we can allow ourselves for more chi and blood flow. Good, so we've gotten through that. I want you to come to neutral and then go ahead and sink back into those sits bones. So try to have the sits bones down onto the heels, depending on how tight your hamstrings are. Find your best and most comfortable child's pose. We're gonna melt here, relaxing the face, softening the shoulders. I'm closing my eyes right now. I'd like you to do the same. I want you to breathe in here, a nice gentle breath into the back of the body, inhaling, exhaling. One more breath in and out. Child's pose is feeling nice and secure, softening into the body, finding and meeting yourself exactly where you need to be. One more breath in and out. Very good. Slowly press yourself back up into tabletop. I'd like you to drop into your belly, stick your tail out, Open up the chest for a cow pose. Inhaling here, exhaling, rounding the back to cat. We'll do that again. Inhaling to cow, exhaling, rounding the back to cat. Draw the belly in, push into your hands. Again, breathing into cow and exhale, rounding the back to cat. Very good. Now come onto your sits bones. So we're gonna come onto our heels and then I want you to find yourself in a comfortable position on the mat, okay? I'm gonna cross my legs. It doesn't matter exactly where you're crossing your legs. I'm having, I have my um, left foot in front of my right. I'm mirroring you. So if you wanna start with that, please do that, okay? Left foot in front of the right. Shoulders stacked on top of the waist. Let's keep the arms nice. An expansive breathing in here and exhale breathing out now I want you to focus on this visualization I'm expanding and breathing in the beautiful positive energy of the universe and I'm bringing it right into my body right into my heart space okay we're gonna do the two more of those breathing in positive energy from the universe and I'm taking it right into my heart space into my body good one more time breathing in and then breathing out. Well done. We're gonna take our hands on top of the the the, um, the the knees here, and I want you to do a seated cow pose. Inhale and exhale, rounding the back. Cat. Good. Inhaling cow. Exhaling cow pose. Now come into the neutral position, and then I want you to slowly rotate. Yes, you're doing gentle cow forward, gentle cat. Rotating here, gentle cow, and a gentle cat pose. Cow and cat. Good, cow and cat. Again, we're kind of releasing the tension, maybe in our lower back and our hips. I'm gonna go the other way. So it's gentle cow pose, sticking the chest out, sticking the tail out, and then now cat pose, 
rounding the back. Do three on this side. Cow, cat. Are you breathing? No holding your breath, please. Cow, cat. One more. Cow and cat. Perfect. Okay, now from here, I'd like you to take your arms all the way up. Take your hand to the heart. Breathe in and then take them down in front. Perfect. We're gonna take our left hand in front of us and the right hand's gonna be right behind, okay? For a gentle twist. Inhaling here and exhaling, twisting. One more time, breathing in, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. Good. Look all the way behind you if you can. Breathing here, inhaling, and then exhaling, unwinding. We're gonna switch our hands, breathing in. Exhale, twist. So now we have the right hand in front and the left hand behind us. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. Let's do one more. Breathe in. Exhale, twist. Good. Look all the way behind you if you can. Inhale and then exhale, unwind. Very good. From here, take your hands in front of you, please. Breathing in here. I want you to hinge at the waist, lean forward with your chest hip, coming flat as a board. When you feel something into those hips, a lot of times our hips are holding that tension and stress. We're gonna to try to release it here. Come forward once you find your, your edge right here where you're feeling a little too much, then you're going to round the upper back and melt forward. For three gentle breaths, you're gonna melt forward, softening into your space here rounded back and melting you should be feeling it into your hips feeling it maybe slightly into the lower back let's just try to find ourselves where we need to be softening in and out with the breath breathing in and out one more breath in and out Good, tight belly to come out of this pose. So engage your belly muscles, come on up. Tight belly, press up. Very good, okay. Now let's switch our feet to even out the body so we're having both hemispheres of our body to feel comfortable, okay. From here, same thing. Inhaling positive energy, bring it close to your heart. Again, breathing in. Imagine the universe gifting you with this beautiful, positive energy, healing energy, bring it right into the body. Perfect. Again, inhaling, breathing out. Awesome. Okay, from here, hands onto the knees, open up the chest, seated cow. Inhale, and then exhale, breathe out, cat. Good, two more. In and out with the breath. Good. In and out. Let's do one more. In and out. Good. From here, we're going to do those little gentle circles. Okay, so that's a cow pose and then cat rotating, opening up the waist, releasing any stagnation that may be holding into the waist area, into those hips. Connecting breath with movement. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Don't forget to breathe. Good, and let's rotate the other way. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhale. Inhaling, exhaling. Let's do one more on this side. Now, sitting up nice and tall, back straight. Let's have our hands in front of us, okay? From here, we're gonna take the right hand in front, left hand behind, inhale, lift and lengthen, and exhale, gently twist to the left. Good, breathing in, lift and lengthen. Exhale, dip, gently twist, relax into the shoulders, soften into those six bones. Good, look behind you, breathe in, and then exhale, unwind. 
I'm gonna switch hands. So left hand comes in front, right hand's behind. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. Don't grind those sits bones. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. Good. Let's go ahead and look behind us. Breathe in. And then exhale, breathe out, unwind. We'll take both hands in front of us. Chest up, back straight, belly nicely tucked in. Breathe in. Let's come forward, hinge just flat as a board here with our back hinging at the waist. When you feel something into that hip, okay, we're gonna round the upper back and melt for three conscious, very beautiful healing breaths, okay? So melt over, softening and breathing in and out, softening, inhaling, Exhaling, softening a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale, breathe out. Well done. Draw the belly in, tight belly, press yourself up. You did such a great job. I'd like you to take your knees up and bring them right in front of you and give yourself a nice little hug forward. Okay. It's very important that we try to always remind ourselves that we're giving ourselves little hugs throughout the day and little self-talk of just saying, I love you. Things are going to work out. And just keeping the messages to yourself positive. So big hug to yourself here, rounding the back, breathing in and out. Draw the belly in, go ahead and press yourself to okay. stay. And now this part of the practice, we're gonna add some acupressure to our whole stress relief session. I want you to find the spot between your first and your second toe. So the big toe and the second toe, you're gonna to notice that there's a web here. And then I want you to take your finger, your index fingers and press into this web space. And then I want you to kind of Little by little, work your fingers up between the first and the second toe and notice that how it may feel. Is it a little grumpy? Is it a little painful? This part of our body is, the, is our liver channel. It's the beginning of our liver channel. And we like to say that if we can descend all of that grumpiness, that stagnation that's kind of coming up to our minds, coming up to our shoulder with neck and shoulder tension. If we press on this point between the first and the second toe, then we are allowing all of that stress, all of that anxiety, all of that discomfort that we may be feeling kind of rising up here, we're gonna allow it to descend. So we're giving this energy a place to focus on. So I want you to go ahead and press into the space between the first and the second toe. This is acupressure point or acupuncture point, um, liver two, liver three. Why don't you go ahead and press, press, press into the space. And if it's really painful, you're gonna press gently, and then you're gonna ease into it and start to press a little more firmly when it's comfortable. Okay, take a nice deep breath here as you're pressing, breathe in and out. One more breath in, pressing, rubbing, and breathe out. Well done. Go ahead and take your feet together now. So the bottoms of the feet can be placed together if you wish, or they can be splayed open just as I have it here. If you feel that this is uncomfortable for you to sit like this, go ahead and grab a cushion or a nice thick blanket and place it underneath your hips. It's amazing if you elevate your sits bones, your hips, your pelvis will help to relax, okay? So pause the video, go grab your um, cushion or your blanket and then find your spot and then come back here. If you're already here, I want you to go ahead and start to press into the bottoms of your feet. The bottom of your foot is uh, the beginning of your kidney channel, the kidney point, and I want you to go ahead and press right below the ball of your foot in the center. You may notice that this is also a little grumpy. So if, depending on how you're feeling today and if you're feeling a little stuck, we're gonna go ahead and press maybe a little more firmly 
And with your thumbs, you're gonna breathe here, firmly pressing in. And then release, breathe out, release the hands. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Breathing in, pressing. And then releasing, breathing out. Go ahead and tap on the bottom of your feet. And then I want you to start to tap on the inside of the legs, okay? And on the back down to the feet, okay? Go ahead and take your feet in front of you, feeling a nice little pat, and go ahead and tap, tap, tap on the outside of the legs, and then the tapping on the inside of the legs, okay? Again, tapping down and on the inside, okay? And then find you where it's best and comfortable for you. Go ahead and sit cross-legged, or maybe you, you feel more comfortable sitting like this. Maybe you need to get grab onto a chair. Your, your practice, your yoga, we're gonna finish our practice with just continuing to tap on the outside of our yang tail on our arms. Come on up and inside. So if you've practiced with me before on my channel, you know I do this quite often, and now you know why. We're releasing the stagnation, we're moving the chi and blood, and we're helping ourselves to release stress and tension out of the body, out of the mind, okay? and then back up on the inside of the arm. And then I want you to find just underneath your collarbones, kind of right between the first and the second rib, right here, you're going to be pressing gently or firmly, your choice, right into lung one, lung two, acupuncture point here. This is a wonderful space. I use it quite often with my patients who are dealing with sadness and grief. I like to gently press into this space more firmly to help me release tension, anxiety, and stress out of my mind and out of my body. Take a deep breath here. Now go ahead and tap it. Breathing in and out. One more breath in and out. Now take your hands together, I want you to rub them firmly. I want you to rub them into a point where you're feeling warmth in your hands. Finding that nice, gentle warmth. Take a deep breath here, breathe in. Keep on rubbing, breathe out. Now, place the warm hands over your eyes. Gently clasp onto your face. Breathe in and out. Finding calm and stillness, breathing in and out. Well done, everyone. Take your hands to your heart. Let's take a moment to thank for the gift of today. And also take a moment to thank yourself. Spending time to nurture your body, your soul, and allowing yourself to practice a session for stress relief. Well done, everyone. Namaste.